So um, this video is about our horse, Dolphin, who we call Dolly. And since um, um, my channel has about almost 8,000 subscribers, I thought many of you would like to um, know, have an update um, of what's happened here, although uh, the news is rather sad. Um, I'll begin by saying that uh, Dolly left us on June 2nd, uh, 2018 after a battle with a very painful illness. Just a little history, you know, Dolly was born in 1988, um, and um, other than her original owner, we've, uh, she's been with us on our farm for uh, 26 years. Um, Dolly was a huge presence um, in the pasture and on our farm. Um, she was big, powerful, um, very well trained, beautiful, beautiful horse uh, that um, had a tremendously wonderful disposition and was very gentle and was very responsive. Dolly was a, um, a very large, uh, about a 16 hands, uh, almost entirely white, beautiful horse, a cross between a, a quarter horse and a palomino. Um, Dolly uh, has been with us uh, for 26 years and uh, basically has known all the animals that we've had on the farm, including um, our horse Shiloh, our mammoth uh, donkey uh, Katie, as well as over 100 miniature donkeys at one point or another. Uh, Dolly was surrounded by these animals. They were her buddies, her friends. Um, they hung out with her and vice versa. Um, they had their fun times. And I think Dolly had a good life um, here with us and with her animal friends. Um, we have many fond memories about Dolly. Um, we took many um, rides with her, trail, trail rides on various trails and also in the just open woods. Um, some of them were quite uh, adventuresome. Um, Dolly always did wonderfully well. Um, she was a true loving companion to uh, our family. Um, now we have so many wonderful memories um, about Dolly. Um, every once in a while she would get, get an attitude. Uh, she would blow, blow air out of her nostrils and her tail would fly up and she would start galloping around and all the donkeys would start running around and uh, She'd be kind of chasing them around the pasture and through the woods and then back out again. Um, it was really a wonderful, um, a playful thing to see. And um, if Dolly was in the back of our 10-acre field, where she often hung out, and she heard us call her name, she would charge across that field, galloping. Uh, it's a sound, the sound of her hooks galloping on the ground, <coughs> getting louder and louder is a sound that... Um, We'll never forget. Um, she was just a simply wonderful horse uh, to uh, share in our life. November uh, of 2017 um, made a video of Dolly. This was the, I think it was November 10th. This was the first heavy frost. Dolly was looking great. Mm -hmm. um, and the video shows Dolly with her blanket on and the donkeys around her eating grass before mm -hmm. that first frost that night. Um, during the winter time, Dolly started losing weight for some unknown reason. She probably lost a like hundred pounds or more. Um, and uh, we started feeding her uh, senior feed and rice bran. And by the time uh, April came around, um, she had gained back all of her weight plus some more and she was looking fantastic. Um, but uh, late um, uh, somewhere mid to late April, our, our grass came in in the big pasture, and um, it was around the end of April, the very beginning of May, that we noticed uh, that Dolly was getting a little gimpy, um, and she looked like she might uh, have developed some founder. We've seen this in the past over the years, but um, ordinarily it would go away in three or four days, um, possibly a week or so uh, in the past where we might have given her some anti-inflammatory medicine. Uh, but this always passed. This particular time, it did not pass. Um, 
Of course, now Dolly is 30 years old, and um, she's less able to deal with and battle an inflammatory process. What was going on with Dolly is she had what is called founder, which is laminitis, which is the inflammation of the lamina of her feet. This can be very painful, um, and it can be very debilitating um, and dramatically interfere in the quality of life of a horse. There are a variety of things you can try to do. We took Dolly, uh, uh, and by the way, the, the cause for Dolly's laminitis is unknown at this point in time. It probably was the rich spring grass, which was unusually um, rich this year. Uh, it could be the endophyte, which grows in the fescue grass. It could have been grain. Uh, most likely, it was the grass. And um, so we took Dolly off of the big pasture, and we put her in a special pasture with very little grass. We tried uh, feeding her some senior feed um, and uh, some rice bran to keep her weight up, but her uh, laminitis continued. Uh, we tried a variety of other things. We even I even tried once wetting down some hay, which tends to wash off the carbohydrates, the sugar, which is bad for laminitis, or can actually cause laminitis in some cases, and she would have none of that wet hay. Um, uh, toward the um, end of uh, uh, May, uh, um, I started trying to walk Dolly, and she would uh, accept the halter and walk with me. And we would walk around the pasture. Uh, walking improves the uh, blood flow of the feet and can wash away, help wash away some of the toxins. Um, and at, uh, toward the end of uh, May, it seemed like Dolly might even be improving, and we were very hopeful. But she took a turn for the worse. And um, on June, uh, this is after a month of doing pretty much everything we felt we could do, including giving her daily pain medicine. And consulting with the farrier and the vet. Um, uh, everyone we spoke to uh, basically had the opinion that, you know, when your horse is 30 years old, which is a pretty long life for a horse, most horses don't live to 30, some live longer, but this is considered um, a long life for a horse, um, that um, you're coming close to the end. And we were concerned about keeping Dolly alive uh, uh, more for us rather than. Uh, paying attention to the quality of her own quality of life. And we didn't want to keep her alive uh, uh, just for us if her quality of life and the amount of pain she was experiencing was obviously a really bad situation for her. This was a decision that uh, was very difficult to make. We didn't really want to make it. But ultimately, on, J on June 2nd, um, I found Dali for the first time. Well, actually, what had happened was uh, she was looking pretty bad and was almost to the point now of not wanting to walk at all. She just would stand in one place in a traditional stance that a horse has when they have laminitis with her feet splay, front feet splayed out. Um, and uh, I decided to just let Dolly into the big pasture to be among her friends, the other donkeys, and, and just see what would happen and let her have some more companionship. I found her uh, hours later lying uh, about, uh, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred yards from the barn. She was lying in the grass, which I'd never seen her do before, well, very infrequently, but not during this um, particular time course. And she struggled to get up, and um, I brought her some feed and some water, and then uh, uh, an hour or so later, I found her lying again. She was closer to the barn by maybe a couple hundred feet, but she was on the ground again, and again, I tried to get her up. She struggled to get up. Um, she got up. I fed her some water and feed. <coughs> And of course, uh, my wife Joan was with me during this entire process and was helping with the, with the water and the grain. And, and actually, uh, Dolly was a horse we had gotten for Joan um, back in 1992, about a year after we moved on to the farm. But at this point, I started to become very concerned. She wouldn't move uh, with a halter. I couldn't lead her back to the barn. And so I called the vet. And we got the vet came out and basically gave us the news we knew we were going to hear, which is that Dolly's 30. Uh, she has a severe case of laminitis. And um, although the, the decision ultimately was ours, he felt like if we try to continue to keep her alive, it would be a very, very long and, and painful course. It could last 
many months. It could last four, five, six months. It could even last a year with no guarantee she would get better. And with that in mind, we've made the final decision to, um, to um, euthanize Dolly. Um, so the euth uh, Dolly was euthanized. Um, she uh, went uh, very peacefully right where she was standing. Um, she uh, was made drowsy. She got down on the ground. Uh, and then the final process occurred, and she simply went to sleep um, with um, no fuss, must and bother, barely not even a whimper, and she was gone. Of course, this was very difficult uh, for us, but um, we felt under the circumstances we had done the right thing, and the vet, upon looking at her feet, told us that based on what he was observing, that um, we were um, getting ready to have a real calamity a real catastrophe with her feet based on what he was looking at and things were going to get a whole lot worse and so we had made um, we felt we had made a good decision for Dolly Dolly was buried just uh, a couple of feet from where she stood uh, where she was euthanized and uh, we created a memorial for her uh, which was a large um, Tennessee uh, block of Tennessee sandstone and we had an, um, a, a granite plaque created and engraved with Dolly's picture and words on the um, plaque, uh, which uh, uh, will be, are shown here in the video. The words are, as my wife would say, Dolly was the queen of the pasture. We still hear your gallop. We miss you. We love you. We will meet again. And um, uh, the end of the video shows the, uh, the memorial and uh, Dolly's final resting place. Uh, May she rest in peace. Thank you. Thanks for watching.